This is the UAV setup for Letourneau's Badger Senior Design Project. And this is the Sky Hunter 1800 millimeter. And we're just gonna go walk through what we have in the system and the way it's set up. So uh, running the Sky Hunter by Sonic model 1800 and high wing, um, three channel, no, no rudder. And we're running the Pixhawk 2.4.8 here. And it's kind of old, but uh, it's what we got here. And off of it, we're running the M M8N from Holy Bro, the GPS module. And also got telemetry, so that way we could hook up to either Mission Planner or Q Ground Control. Personally, it's gonna be Q Ground Control for this. Um, also, we have a Pedo tube system here, hooked up through an I I2C splitter back into the I2C port here. And of course, everything is um, connected here off the PickSock or off a splitter, it's like, this, like this I2C. So we have the pitot tube here. Right now it's covered with, uh, what is it? A mechanical pencil and a piece of glove. Just something to make sure nothing gets clogged in there. And we have an Archer R6 receiver in the back over there, just connected. And all that is feeding into the main outs here on the PickSock. Now, there's a telemetry radio for our ground station going to be on our computer and we are running a 6,000 milliamp hour battery for this we want long flight time we want to be fast and I think this 6,000 milliamp hour is going to do just that plenty of range plenty of power plenty of speed and all this connects to a 60 amp ESC that goes through here and feeds all the way to the back and goes to a 920 kV motor with a, let's see, 11 by seven prop. And so the ailerons are fed up through the pick sock, through the back split, and they come individually over here. And then they go to their wings. Same thing for the side. And now for the elevator, it's also fed through the same system, but we go through this line here in parallel, and then we feed it through here, and then it goes through the boom, and there's a quick disconnect over here somewhere, but there is, you just gotta pull it out. Quick disconnect. And what we've done is add two servos on the back for a more redundant system and to give assurance that when the elevator goes up, it's not gonna be deflected down by the air and then we have no no elevator. So we put just we just put two servers there for redundancy. And then also super glued these stems here so that way um, these fins are stable and not moving around because just right now I can move them, but this oh now, now this stem is broken, so I have to go fix that. But um, when they're here they provide more stability. That's more stable than this one for sure. Without the stem, and then with the stem. So that's fed through there. And then coming to the FPV mount, we're running a Foxier camera. Um, it's an analog system. And I got this servo mount off Amazon. Super easy to set up, just two servos. You feed that through here. And then there's some connections here with the X view and the Y view. And I set it up on the transmitter to where it'll move horizontally and vertically. And that's just set up in the transmitter. Um, and everything is strapped down Velcro for a quick disconnect. And what else? Hot glued down. And then for our VTX, we did a transmitter running a Foxier also. What is this? Um, I forgot. I think it's a Foxy or Reaper, but running that with the Lollipop antenna. It's going to sit inside of here and out through here. And that's how we're going to get our video. And we're going to get our video from 
from a newbie drone uh, receiver here that I just had laying around. But well, you could also use anything because it also runs on 5.8. So just anything to pick up that, that signal. And other than that, pretty simple. Um, I'll get some flight video soon. Tell you about that. And then here's the electrical diagram, simplified electrical diagram for the Sky Hunter. So more, more information to come. There's also, I'll also have this camera just for an extra point of view if I need it. And probably put that on the wings or on the tail. So, yeah.